Weeks ago, Cody and I were put to the test yeah. to see if we could keep some orchids alive. I will say we have done pretty good job so far. You said pretty good, like they're they're alive? Yeah. They're, they're living? Yeah. Uh, okay, let's just go to Cody. How <laughs> about <laughs> some flower pros? Cody, how lively are your orchids? Is I think that's the question. Well, let's talk to Orchid Dave. So let's go back. So Courtney and I were standing, you know, sitting on the set one day. We we're talking about how beautiful orchids are. Somebody sent us a picture of an orchid. And we were mm -hmm. like, oh, mm -hmm. we just love them, but we killed them. Yeah. And then you sent us a message. You're like, it's not that hard. I can teach yeah. you. So you came to the show and you gave us a couple of orchids and you challenged yeah. us to keep these suckers alive. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. So how did we do, Dave? You did excellent, mm -hmm. Cody. Hey. So we're looking at your orchid here. Oh, God, it looks great. You see, it's got its flowers. It bloomed for you. Nice. You have new growth down here. Uh -huh. So this is next year's flowers. Yes. And you have done a wonderful job with this orchid. Yeah. Now, let me just tell you, the path that this orchid has gone on, Dave. So <laughs> you brought it to the station. And then I, I, it was like a Thursday. Mm -hmm. On Friday, I went out live. I left it at the station. <clears throat> and then Monday and Tuesday, I was out live. So it was at the station. And then Christine Hansen saw it <laughs> and she said, well, I need to save that orchid. So she took it home. So it was oh. stolen by a very nice lady with good intentions. <laughs> and she had it for two weeks. And then, then finally I saw her and I said, hey, can you bring my orchid back? <laughs> and then I've been taking care of it ever since. Okay. Now, keep in mind, you guys at home, I have a new kitten who was fascinated with this orchid oh. and stares at it all the time. I cannot believe that, uh, that he has not gotten into that orchid. Okay, enough about my orchid. Let's talk about Courtney's orchid. If you guys would be so kind, pull up the picture of Courtney's orchid. She did so well, she so well. well. It's going yeah, she so sent well. me a picture of it the other day, mm -hmm. and it's excellent. She's got a second flower. Mm -hmm. um, so she has done a wonderful job with her orchid. Uh, we need to kind of stake it up a little bit higher so yep. that flower doesn't hang down so much. Because mm -hmm. that was the problem. Uh, she had two big flowers, mm -hmm. and then one kind of went this yeah. way, and then eventually... Yes, yeah. but it should still survive, mm -hmm. uh, and that flower should still be on there for quite some time. Okay. So so she has done, you both get an A for your effort. Yes! Yes! We yes! did great, awesome. Courtney. We did great. Nice. Let me tell you, orchids are fascinating. Absolutely fascinating. <laughs> and I, and I, I know they're from this planet, but it's hard for me to believe they're from this planet. They're all so different, so interesting, but a lot of these plants have have managed to create relationships with like one type of bug to huh. keep it alive. Correct. Mm -hmm. So that would be its pollinator. Mm -hmm. So and they do all kinds of trickery. They will produce fragrances that attract them. They will produce um, the flower that looks like maybe a female version of whatever it is that pollinates it. And so they mimic it, so it's kind of like a huh. what pseudo copulation, I think they call it, <laughs> uh, where the where the bug will come and thinks it's you know mating with the uh, uh, with the female, uh -huh. and it will pollinate the flower that way. Wow! So and you were talking about the the scents, like it won't be just like smelling wonderful all the time. It will do it in different parts of the day based on the the, the bug that it it has a relationship. With. Right. So for instance, a. Um, an orchid that gets pollinated by a, a nighttime critter, like a moth, uh, they will produce their fragrances at night to attract that moth. How cool is that? I'm telling you, I am so into this now. Look what you've done, Dave. Yes. <laughs> All right, stick around. We're going to show you some beautiful flowers yeah. and talk about how how they you manage to do what they do. And we'll tell you about different flowers from different places because it makes a big difference. It makes a big difference. All right, back to you guys. Hey, Cody, screen. Cody, can you do me a huge favor? Uh, we'll see you mm -hmm. next hour. I know, yes. but can you just get two questions answered yes. for me? The ice cube question, single ice cube for an mm -hmm. orchid. Mm -hmm. okay. uh, number two, how an orchid okay. goes from like a beautiful bright blue to all white. How, Good questions. why, all the things, oh. if you don't mind. Excellent questions. Okay. I will find the answers to those questions. Thank you so much. Thanks, That's what we Scott. do. That's what we do on Good Day.